Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Bless your children. Teach us your word of life. Open our eyes that we might know, understand, and practice the word of God. In Jesus' name, amen. I compare a case, the case of sin, to sickness in the lives of people. There are people that will not allow sickness to rest upon their body. They will want to get it healed, treated immediately. They will want to go to the hospital. They will want to take medication. They will want to seek medical advice and, and do all to get the sickness treated because they don't want the sickness to develop and become something that they cannot treat again in their body. And actually, that is the medical advice. That's why uh, the ad medical advice is always check yourself at least once in a year that if any sickness is coming up it can be treated when it is still in the baby stage but there are people they don't bother about sickness in their body the sickness is there they don't bother they don't think of going to the hospital. Why? They may say they have no time. Two, they may say they have no money. Three, they may say they don't want anybody to know that they are sick. No, I don't, want to be, I don't want to show that I am sick. Again, the sickness might, ref, might, uh, might be in area of privacy. I don't want to go and expose my privacy before any person. Or else, the hospitals here are not the type I will treat. I won't treat it here. I need a special hospital somewhere. So as a result, year to year, they keep their sickness. In fact, some prefer, I wish to manage it in my life. Let me just manage it. Uh, let me manage it in my life. So these are how people treat sicknesses. In the same way, people treat sin in this way. The sin is there, but I don't want to confess it. I don't want to do restitution for it. I don't want to do restitution for it. I don't want anybody to know that I am a sinner or that I'm committing this kind of sin. That I do masturbation. That one is private. It's not public. Or that I am a wizard, a witch. That is, is, is private. Revelation came to me, it came on a friend of mine in deeper life. We knew ourselves long 
How many years now? Above 30 years. And he's aware of my ministry. He's still in the palace. The revelation showed that he is a wizard. And is in fact he's concerned with the problem I have with deeper life. He wishes to play the conciliatory role between me and the general superintendent. He wishes uh, to make them understand me and so on. But he says, see me now. I am a wizard. I've been in this wizardry for all these years. You know, this thing they can teach you. In the, your parents can introduce it to you. Sometimes when you are still in the womb. Or sometimes when you were born as a child. You got introduced to it by a friend too, by someone who initiated you. But I have spent my Christian life in this. He was talking to himself. Ha! Ah, how will I do this? I can't confess to anybody that I, Pastor this, who have ascended to this position in this church, I'm a wizard. I know. But what will I do? God. I've been praying to God. I've been crying to him. But you know the nature of God is go and confess your sin. There's no private deal between me and you. What do you take yourself? Except you accept the kingdom of God like a child. You can in no way make it. God has no respect for persons. It means I just must go and confess this witchcraft. Ha! Ah, but how can I, having come to this level, confess it? So, you see it now. With this condition, he had been keeping his sin for all the years. It's like the man that say, how will I go and show my private part or a woman to another person? A doctor. Uh, if it were that I can find a woman doctor, maybe. So she keeps her sickness. Huh. The danger of the one that has sin in him is he that confesses and forsaketh shall have mercy. Forgiveness. He that confesseth not shall be damned. The end result of the one that is managing sin is eternal death. It's worse than the one that is managing sickness. The, managing, the one that is managing sickness is bodily dead. He can die in the body, but he can be righteous before God in matters of sin and moral. Righteous. If he, but he can be short-lived upon the earth. It can be short-lived upon the earth. Yes. But this one, he will go to hell because the, your own case is sin that you are managing. So you see the matter now. You, which position do you belong? What is your condition? Are you the type that are sick? You are sick. You are managing your sickness. It can become too late. Might lead you to damage in this life. A lady 
was playing a nail caught her eyes. She never let her parents know. She hid it. Suffering the pain, she hid it. By the time they got to understand, to see, the eye had become rotten. Now, she is only seeing with one eye. She was explaining to me, uh, did it, that's happened, but I kept it for my parents. It became too late to get it settled. That's the damage. But she can give her life to Jesus Christ and make it to heaven. You hear? But what about you? They initiated you. You discover yourself in wizardry. Instead of coming up to confess, you are hiding it. Your own is dead in hell. Michael Sambo, when the Lord took him to hell, saw a friend of his. My friend, eh? Why are you here? What happened to you? You are here? Hey, who then can be saved? Because he left Ukari Tarabaste to go to Lagos to buy a car for someone. When they were coming on the way, I think the car had accident. He died on the way. And they had no knowledge where he was. He just went to see him in hell. The friend now explained, he said, because he was a choir member in Deeper Life, active, such that Michael Thomas Sambo saw that this was a righteous brother. And actually he was. But there was this demonic girl in the choir. You know, they are sent to pull down righteous people. And you won't know them because it's not everybody that can separate the ties from the wheat. This grass that looks like rice, it's not every person. So, the girl came to his house for choir practice. Uh, uh, I want us to sing this song. Uh, I want us to uh, wonder, in his house. Before he knew his balloon blew up. His body blew up. They committed immorality. And hey, how do I tell anybody now Number one, I'm going to be out of choir. Number two, great shame in the church. How do I tell anybody now that this is what has happened to me? God forgive me. Oh, you want me to forgive you? Go and tell your pastor. God, you know, don't say another thing. I said, go and tell your pastor. He that hideth his sin shall not prosper. Is he that confesseth and forsaketh? He confesses the sins and forsakes the sin. He is the one that shall have mercy. I will show him mercy. That's my formula. But how will he go and be saying, I did this and I did that? So, he just continued in the choir. Only himself and the girl knew that things had happened. And then the Holy Spirit, boom, every time, boom, in his heart, every time, boom, in his heart, extra mercy, conviction of God. He didn't do anything about it. Then he went to Lagos. 
no more. He didn't know Satan had marked him and that at this time he will be going. He didn't know. He went to Lagos and didn't come back. And many didn't know he went to Lagos. Many did not know. Oh, I was righteous in my way. But do you know this sister in the choir? That's what he was telling my Thomas Sambo. Do you know this sister in the choir? She came to my house. I told you the testimony of a frog. Did I tell you? Oh, you didn't hear the testimony of a frog. This frog. You know, the frog is the one that can jump from here to that place. You remember? The scientist conducted a test on him, on the frog. They put the frog on normal water, his habitat, his normal water he lives in, and placed the pot in the fire with very small heat. So, as the water was changing temperature, getting heat, getting hot, small by small, the frog ignored the temperature that has changed. Until the temperature of the water gets higher, the frog has an inbuilt property in the membrane, in the body, that can make it sustain in changing temperature. So, as the temperature of the water was changing, the membrane was adjusting. It's like if you're tightening your knot. You're tightening your knot. The membrane was adjusting. Instead of saying, uh uh, where is this water like this? My membrane will take care of it. Now, the membrane kept on adjusting. Then, the frog was not aware that the membrane ability to change is only when the water comes to a particular percentage. Percentage. Even the hotness of the water comes to a particular percentage. Because if it crosses there, it will start affecting the membrane. It will be weakening the membrane. It will be weakening the membrane. He was not aware of this. Instead of jumping up, you can jump. You are busy adjusting. When he came and discovered that this water is, ah, the water is, well, let me jump. The power of the membrane has been broken. He couldn't jump again. He died in the water. That's the problem. You have seen in your life. You're busy adjusting. Instead of confessing, forsaking to be saved now, I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandment. You were delaying. You are unaware that if you throw something up, that at the point it is no more going up, it is descending. You are not aware that at the point your Christian life reaches a level that you are not increasing again, Satan is also coming in. He was not coming in because we were hotter. When the water was hot, could you drink the tea? No. You wanted it to reduce heat. 
to the point your mouth can contain the heat, the hotness of the water. So, when you were hot in your Christian life, Satan couldn't enter. But now, that sin entered, you didn't get it settled. You have come to the, and you have been arrested, you have started descending. You are coming now to the point Satan will enter. That is it. You have come to the point that tea that was too hot for your tongue, you have come to the point your tongue can bear it. That's why you begin to sip it. You have come to the point by your carelessness, grace has reduced, is reducing. It has come to the point Satan can strike. You are not aware. Before you know it, Samson, the Philistines are upon you. I will rise at at the other time. I will shake myself. He didn't know the Holy Spirit has left him. That's the situation. You destroyed yourself. You destroyed yourself with carelessness. You were managing instead of getting yourself out of it. Out of sin. Out of evil. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandment. That's it. At the time the message hits you, you didn't bother. The second message will not hit you as the first one. When you are going to take bath in a cool weather, when you pour the first water on your body, in fact, all your struggle is, how, when will the first water touch my body? The second one will not have the same implication. You are the one that has made this message not to work on you. Because at the time the Lord brought you with great heat, you didn't respond. All the messages have been preached. Which one will save you? They don't have the same implication as the time heat was coming on you. So anybody can go and preach now. Even you two can go and even preach now. Wow. You delayed to keep his commandment. And Satan came in and picked that which is in your heart. The seed that falls on the wayside. So nothing is forming in your heart. So you can see now which one is your, is your case. Which sin are you managing with? Because you are a man of God. Nobody must know. You prefer hypocrisy? Do you prefer hypocrisy? Or you will bear the shame. You will ignore the shame as Jesus did when they nailed him in nakedness on the cross. The Bible says he despised the shame because he wanted to save mankind. Can you despise your shame so that you can save yourself, not even mankind now, yourself? How long when you are, are you going to treat your sickness? How long when are you going to treat your sin? Jesus is available. Let's rise up upon our feet. Jesus is ready to forgive you, give you grace, change you. And that shame shall not be there anymore. Once he forgives you and removes all your sin, you won't feel shame again. You will not be ashamed. Whosoever believeth in the name of the Lord shall not be ashamed. That shame will die. The shame Satan is keeping before you. You won't see it. Boldness and courage will fill your life.
open up your life to Jesus. Open it up, your arrows to the leadership of the church. Worship divine. Worship your father. Worship your Lord. I am ready to obey you. I am ready to obey your word. I am ready to obey the living word of God. I am ready to obey. No delay. Just tell God you are you will no delay now. Be ready to obey God's word. Be ready to obey his word. Be ready to obey the living word of God. Be ready to obey. No delay. Be ready to obey God's word. Be ready to obey his word. Be ready to obey the living word of God. Be ready to obey God's word without delay. You have confession to make to your wife. Where have you stayed for three years and you have not met it? The number as years go by, you will become weakened and you will be adjusting. But the end there offer the ways of dead. You have confession to make to your husband. Why are you delaying? You have confession to make to the church. Why are you delaying? You're carrying heavy load. No rest. Holy Ghost is punching you for extra mercy. You would have died. Is prolonging your life in extra mercy. You would have died. Lord, teach me your will. Lord, teach me your will. I want to do your will. God, teach me your will. Father, teach me your will. I want to do your will. Jesus, teach me. Lord, teach me your will. I want to obey it, Lord. God, teach me your will, my God. I want to do your will. God, teach me your will. Jesus, teach me your will. I want to do your will. That is why he has taught you today. Go and do it. Refuse shame. Jesus despised shame. Who is talking on Jesus as, as a naked person today? Who is boasting that he saw his naked body today? All of us are saying he is Lord. <laughs> Worship you, Lord. 